All right. This might be the realest soapbox you've ever, ever heard in your entire life. And you know, the best time I do my soapboxes is when I'm feeling some type of way about something in particular, whether it be work, friends, family. I might be mad about something. I might be sad about something. Maybe I'm extra happy about something. But um, I figured I'd do this soapbox, okay? I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that watch this particular soapbox that um, will love it. So anyways, so me and John, we started this company from the baby baby company. It's $2,000, me, him, doctor, okay? Now me and John, when we started Titan Medical Center, we did not have to slander or have to like talk shit about other clinics in our area so that we would become successful, okay? What did we do to become successful? Hi, mom. I'm just venting a tiny bit. Um, what did me and John do to become successful? We bust our ass. We stayed up late. We worked all the events ourselves because we couldn't afford promo girls at the time. We did everything ourselves. We went out every single weekend. We talked to everybody about our shit. Word of mouth is how we built the entire business. We never, ever, ever spoke bad about another company. Never. Other companies always talk bad about us. Even when we were this small on the map, people were still talking shit, okay? So if you feel the need that you have to talk shit about other people's companies to make yourself successful, I think it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's kind of garbage, you know? I think you, you because you have to talk shit about other people's company to get ahead with your company, I think that's sad. And you know, I hope that anybody that this may pertain to, if the shoe fits, wear it. Um, I hope you're gonna watch this and I hope you like my video. Um, another thing that I would like to bring up about HRT clinics, weight loss clinics, wellness clinics, all that good stuff. Now, I know, hi Nicole, I know I can go to bed at night feeling good about myself because either way you look at it on the health version of things, I know before I go to sleep at night, every single night, I go to bed and I sleep sound. Do you want to know why I sleep sound? The reason I sleep sound is because I know that we did everything in our power, including my doctors, my nurse practitioners, any of my nurses, all my staff, me, John, everybody on, on board. We have done everything that we possibly can to make sure that the patient or the person that we come in contact with that day has top-notch health. Their health comes number one, okay? So I can sleep at night because of that. Now, I kind of wonder myself sometimes, how do other people sleep at night when you know that you're legitimately hurting other people to make a dollar? How do you sleep? I don't understand. How do you go to bed at night? Like, how do you sleep? Do you have to take like Tylenol PM or like something to go to bed so that you sleep okay? Or do you really just sleep that sound knowing that you aren't doing well for other people on this planet, okay? It bothers me, it really does. And this is why I'm gonna do this live and I, I'm not gonna filter what I'm saying. I'm sure John will kick my ass later for this, but I'm being totally honest with you. At the end of the day, our patients come number one and we have definitely had people come over to us and they're coming from other clinics. I won't name any names or anything, but they're not, you know, it's one thing to have a clinic and go to a clinic and they just don't know what the hell they're doing, right? They just don't know what they're doing and it's like blind faith and it's, it's totally innocent, right? It's another thing when you go somewhere and they are blatantly doing something that they probably shouldn't be doing and they don't give a shit. That's sad. Like it's, it's just, it's not right. Like it's just so wrong. It's, I don't, I don't understand. Okay. At the end of the day, me and John, when we built this company, we didn't have to talk shit about another company to get ahead. We didn't have to bring other people down to get ahead. We bust our ass and that's how we got where we're at today. Nothing was handed to us. I didn't have to recruit people from other clinics that may not have made it through the ringer to, uh, you know, make myself successful or dig deep or report anything to make myself successful. You know, I think it's sad. I really do. Um, I don't feel bad for anybody. What's up, guys? I will definitely tell John you said hi. Um, I think it's sad. I do. I think it's sad that other people have to do that shit. It's, it's really sad. 
and um, I'm doing the live and I'm, I'm, I'm expressing my feelings through the live because I can't literally make this shit up. <laughs> so anyways, that's how I feel about that. Um, you know, like I said, we busted our ass doing what we're doing the day. And um, I feel I feel good about it. I go to sleep at night just fine. I know that um, things that we're getting for our patients is the best they can possibly get. And I'll be totally honest with you at another thing. Anybody that me and John have come in contact with that was not good for our business or our brand, or we found out on the side might have been selling something they probably shouldn't have been selling, we made sure that we separated ourselves from them. Do you think they liked that? No, they didn't. Do you think they were talking shit about us about that? Yeah, they were. So I just like, I want to put this out there because me and John, I'll tell you, if it wasn't for John, I don't know. I would probably not be in a good position because I don't know how to keep my mouth shut. So John keeps my mouth shut for me half the time. You know, he literally like, takes super glue and he keeps it shut like this. Okay. So if it wasn't for John, I would just be a hundred miles per minute. Okay. Thank God I don't because that wouldn't be good for anybody. But I am voicing my opinion at this point because me and John have been in business for seven years. We mind our business, we stay in our lane, we don't talk shit about other people because it's not professional. We do what we need to do, and we don't ever, we don't ever mess with anybody. And we always like turn the cheek. You know, we always turn the cheek, make sure that we just, okay, we're just gonna focus on us. Because listen, you face the facts. You start focusing on something else besides you and your business, I can assure you that it will start to detour what you should be doing in your own business, which isn't good, right? So I just, um, I don't know, I feel a certain way about some certain things. You know, um, I will say there are some other clinics out there that they're doing really good. And I'm, you know, if you look at the bigger picture, guys, like there is no reason to fight tooth and nail over patients, people, employees, whatever it is, because there's a whole lot. There's a lot. There's no reason to act like that. There is no reason at all. It's so stupid. Okay? So, that's how I feel about that. I had to express my feelings. I'll tell you. What's up, Katina? Um, it's, it's, it's very sad that there's a lot of people out there that have to do these things to get ahead in life. And, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not very, like the nicest person there is. I really am not. And John definitely, he calms me down and keeps me in this corner to keep my mouth shut half the time. But I'm telling you, man, it's messed up what's going on out there. So at the end of the day, at least I can say that <laughs> there's a lot that I want to say right now. And I'm having to think about what I want to say before I say it, knowing that this is video recorded and it's going to be out in social media land. Okay. But I am going to share this with you guys. So you want to get ahead in life, bust your ass, get your ass out of bed in the morning. What's up, Tunisia? Yes, Absolutely. Get your ass up in the morning. Do what you have to do. Focus on your shit. Stay in your lane. Don't talk shit about other people. Just don't. It's not right. It's not professional. It's not the way to do business. That's not right. Okay? Be genuine about what you're doing. And you know what? If you're in the business of health, give a shit about people. Like genuinely give a shit. Because you're messing with people's health. You know, if you're blowing somebody's thyroid out or maybe putting a, let's just say for instance, let's just say you're put a 21 year old on testosterone. Um, probably not a good idea. Don't do that. Right, Nicole? Nicole, you can agree with me, right? Right? You see some things at the office that kind of irks you and maybe rubs you the wrong way. Nicole is a very, very dear person to me. She works in my office and she's absolutely amazing at what she does. And she is part of Team Titan internal team. But um, it does. It bothers me that there's a lot of people out there that's doing what they shouldn't be doing. So if there's ever a situation where Titan Medical okay, may not be affiliated with an individual anymore, okay, a lot of times there is a reason behind that. And it's not because, oh, we didn't like them anymore. Or, oh, man, they didn't do this. 
It's usually not that reason. There's usually another reason behind it. Me and John, we don't like cheaters. We don't like liars. And um, we don't like people that stir up shit in a pot that just we don't want to be part of that shit. Okay? So this is how I feel about this particular industry. There's a lot of people that are doing it right. And there's a lot of people that are doing it wrong. And the people that are doing it wrong, I feel for those people that are being treated by those clinics. Because one day somebody's going to get hurt and it's going to suck. You know? It's just, it's going to suck. So at least I can go to bed at night knowing that we always do the right thing. The best to our ability, right? I'll give you an example. Somebody calls up, right? Let's just say somebody calls up. They want to go on testosterone replacement. We get blood work on them. Everything's great. Let's just say, for instance, I'm going to use this as an example, okay? Let's just say, for instance, that their prostate, it's a guy. Prostate reading comes back super high. We're like, listen, dude, and I've actually, I should tag this person in here. I won't. I know he'll see my video, though. What if, God forbid, there's an underlying issue of, like, prostate cancer? What if somebody's liver enzymes are totally out of control and they have a liver issue? What if somebody's kidney functions are totally out of control and they have an underlying kidney issue? Why would you want to continue treating them without forcing them? You're forcing them at that point to go and seek attention, whether it's their primary care physician, nephrology, urology, I don't care. You're going to go, you're going to get this checked out. We're not doing anything with you. And you know why we do that? We do it for their health. That's why we do it. But like I said, it does. It, it, it irks the shit out of me that there's other people out there and it's like led them up to this point where they just, they just don't give a shit. And they really are. They, 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 these people claim the fame of not being about the money, but, you know, caring so much and all this other good shit. But they really don't. They really, really don't. And I have like living proof of this. So anyways, it bothers the shit out of me. And I did want to make a statement that if you really want to get ahead in life, and listen, I am the first person that will tell you to your face what you need to hear. <laughs> I, I probably should not. And, you know, John has really detoured me from a lot of this. Thank you, baby. But I'll be the first person to tell you. And um, I think that if you're in a business or you run a business, this goes across the board for everybody. I don't care if you're just in the clinic world, gym world, you're in hair industry, nail industry, whatever. Shut up and stay in your lane. Do what you got to do to get yourself ahead and just stay in your lane. I can assure you that you will get ahead if you just stay in your lane, shut up, worry about your own shit, don't worry about everybody else's shit. And just do what you need to do and work your ass off and create good relationships. I can assure you that will get you far. The other shit, that shit will catch up to you. It will. Promise. Anyways, I'm done for today. I definitely wanted to share my feelings. And Chrissy, I love you. Jerome, I love you. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. And I'm sure all these awesome people will see my video and just love it. They'll love it. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye.